Hey, it's Jaden Rabago. You're watching the Life Taco Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for all the rest of the videos. Hey, welcome to the Life Taco Podcast, Jaden Rabago. Is that how, that's how you say it, right? Yeah, Jaden Rabago. Thank you for having me. I low key been waiting to do this forever. Like we low key had to reschedule this so many times. <laughs> yeah, that was mostly my fault. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah, good. The weather's been like crazy around here. I, I, I keep I keep getting stuck at the hotel that I work at. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Missouri. Oh, I think I know a couple people out there. I know a couple. It's just always hot out here. I'm in Cali. I'm in LA. Yeah. So uh, it's just hot feet. Some somebody said it's like really foggy in California right now or something like, like that. Just a, really just depends on what part. Like maybe if you're like you're like near the ocean, like type shit. Like it's just like hella, hella foggy. Yeah. I know that um, at our crib, at our crib, like we like there's a lot of fog all the time. Yeah. And y'all have had to deal with a lot of fires and stuff too. Yeah, like it's part like when that was happening, I like you all everywhere you go, you just smell so much smoke. That's crazy. <laughs> and uh, you, now y'all are getting kind of a break, and everybody else is getting tornadoes and snowstorms and all this crazy shit. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, I have a blanket right here. <laughs> <laughs> is that cold out there? Is that cold? <laughs> It's so fucking cold in this basement. <laughs> like that, oh, I, I, re- I could never. I, I, I record in the basement. It's so fucking cold down here. <laughs> Dang. I hey, I'm not gonna go out there until it's hot. I like <laughs> I like the heat. I'm not gonna hold it, you. It gets hot too. <laughs> Missouri, it gets it gets super intense hot and super intense cold. There's no and you never know which one it's gonna be. It just it's crazy. Uh, it, just, it just hits you. You don't know until you find out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I figured we'd talk about more, like, shallow things, and we'll get kind of deeper as we go, if that's... Okay, if that's yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. But, yeah, um, happy birthday, though. Oh, uh, thank you, bro. I got so many birthday wishes, and I'm just blessed to, like, see another year, like, especially to be in this position I am right now, especially to get interviewed in this podcast, everything. Like, I'm really just blessed to have all this. <laughs> yeah, you you got, like, a ton. Like, you were posting them all on Instagram. Yeah, like- that the crazy part about that is, like, that was only like all everything I posted. That was probably only like thirty percent out of a hundred. Like the people that said happy birthday. Like it just got so much. Like I couldn't reach everybody, and I got tired of like having them like keep clicking repost because I kept getting phone calls, text messages, and everything. But like I really did appreciate everybody that sent me something and wished me happy birthday. Yeah, that because like you probably got it on Snapchat and text messages and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, Instagram, Snap, everything. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. Jabez came on right after his birthday too, so that's kind of, <laughs> you're, I've, I've always seen him. I never met the dude, but he seems really cool. Like he really does seem cool. He was like super humble and nice, and he, he was really cool. Oh, that's that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> um, if he's watching this, if he's watching this, maybe we'll collab. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, so what'd you do for your birthday? To be honest, I just really stay at home. I look at my birthday as, like, just another day. I mean, yeah, it's like another day. Like, it's blessed, all that stuff. But it, was, it looked at it as just another day. Because usually every year on my birthday, I'm I'm probably in the gym. Just Because before, before like, this social media, I was a basketball player. I, was, I really was into basketball. So I spent, like, every year on my birthday usually in the gym or just shooting. But, like, this year, I didn't really get to go to the gym because COVID, everything was closed, you know. But I I just stayed at the crib and I hung out with everybody at the uh, house, like Derek and all them. Yeah, uh, Derek Trends. Yeah, that's cool. Y'all live in the same area. And so, did you mm-hmm. know him before you were an influencer, or did y'all just meet yeah. other influencers? We actually the way we met. So we met in like December or October around there. But like we went, we all we had mutuals, right? We had a lot of mutuals. Like shout out to Josie for like plugging me and like introducing me to everybody, right? Because I didn't really know anybody and I just started social media. So it was like kind of hard for me. And she took me on to the Vegas trip and I met everybody. And like, that's what like made me like more, more like outgoing. Cause I was, I was like nervous. You feel me? Like, like just getting into everything. Like it was just so nerve wracking and everything. Cause I didn't know if I was doing everything correct and all that stuff. Yeah. Are you like naturally kind of introvert or are you more extrovert? You seem like an extrovert, but I don't know. Ah. It really just depends. Like, mm, 
I really go off of what type of vibe people give me. I like more like uh, like sitting back and like judging people by like what they do first. Cause I don't like giving myself out personally type, you know, I don't like letting people know who I really am until like, unless I think they deserve to. Yeah. Uh, so you're a little bit private then? Yeah. I mean, besides social media. Yeah. Cause like not a lot of people knows what happens behind cameras. So. Yeah. That's funny. Cause like, I had Jabez and Trenton Lehman, and they both were like, yeah, uh, we're wide open, whatever. So you're the first one that's been like, yeah, I'm a little bit private. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. Um, let's see. Oh, that that big-ass hot tub you were in that you posted on your birthday. Oh, Where was that at? <laughs> that was at the house. Like, okay, so it was my on my birthday, I'm like, man, this only comes once a year, right? So I'm like, I might as well make the most of it and just take a picture, right? Just post happy birthday. Like, just post for Instagram and like be able to like sit, reply to all the comments that I didn't reply to the DMs. Just say thank you, thank everyone. But like that hot tub, I'm not even gonna hold you. I probably took at least, I had Emmett, my friend Emmett, he's also in the house. I don't know if you know him, but like, I had him take like a hundred more pictures before. And then Derek tried taking pictures for me in the morning, but like I didn't, I didn't like how they turned out. But then I took it again later during the day. But I had like a lot of pictures and that wasn't even in the hot tub. It was just, the hot tub was just a last minute thing. And I was like, all right, yeah, like. This is Chad Hotso. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was that? <laughs> it was like a red pipe or something, and you were like, every time you did it, you're like, <laughs> you saw that video? Yeah. Oh, all right. Like, I'm about to go hold y'all. Like, I, it was just, I, all right. So, like, we were at this Airbnb, and it was just there, right? And so, me and my friends, we were making a joke, and like, we just be, we just be joking around. Like, we not, we don't like mean it to like anything deep type stuff, right? And so I was just messing around. Like, it was just like childish stuff, you know. And my friend happened to be recording, and then I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, you got me recording. All right, whatever. What was it even? I, I, I can't even tell what it was really. I think I really don't know because all right. So we stayed at Airbnb, right? And it was just there at the Airbnb. Because we were just, we were only there for like the weekend because we, we, um, we came down there and we ended up getting another Airbnb. So like we didn't, we, we it was just like a last minute type. So it was just. Yeah. It's, <laughs> can you make that noise? It's, it sounds like. <laughs> oh, I want to hear that noise. <laughs> no, all right. But like, all right. If y'all watching this, just know. I, it's because my friend Manolo, he actually posted those videos for my birthday. And those videos was not supposed to come out, but I, you know, I couldn't control what he wanted to post about me. So I was just like, whatever. But I was, it went to something a little like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, woo, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, nah, but for real, like I, didn't, like, I didn't even know he was recording. But then, like, later during the day, like, I found out he was recording. I was like, he already has the first one. So I just, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. So um, the first thing I really noticed about you was the tattoo that you had. Because I'm yeah. like, Gosh, he looks young to be, to have, you know, whatever. And I looked you up and you're like 16. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of people like think I'm older than what I am. Like, okay, a lot of people like they say like I'm 18, 19, uh, all that stuff. But like, to be honest, I'm 16. I just turned 17. I got my first tattoo at 15. So I, it was this one right here. This was my dad's birthday. And then my next tattoo, like I got it like a couple months after. I got it like in the middle of COVID, right? But like, in the, yeah, I got in the middle of COVID and I got this one, right? So basically, my, I'm like, I'm Hawaiian and Filipino, right? And I have a lot of family in Hawaii. And like, like we are like, we pride ourselves. Like we really pride ourselves to that, towards that. And my dad had his. So like, I looked at it, it as like, okay, like I think I'm gonna get mine. Like I wanted to get mine to like show like, like my pride, you feel me? And like, it, like the tattoo, the tattoo doesn't just mean one thing. Each different pattern means like different things. But like, I don't remember off the top of my head. All I remember is like the oceans. Like, I don't know if you can see like, right? Yeah, right you can there. see it perfect. Yeah, right there. The um, that's like ocean, like represents like death and like stuff like that, and cool. like it, like all all the different patterns represent something else. Yeah. So your parents were cool with you getting it when you were like fifteen. Uh, my dad. You know, my dad. He was he was cool. With it. The my dad's actually the one who took me to go get it. My mom. You know, she wasn't really a big fan of it, but like, hey, it was. Hey, it's already there, so you can't really do nothing about it. So I was like, can't do nothing about it. It's already here. 
But my dad, yeah, he took me to my dad was the actually the one who like taught was who took me, right? So I got this one with my dad. I got all my tattoos with my dad. And I recently got these ones. This is my mom's birthday, because I was like, if I got my dad's birthday, like I gotta get my mom's birthday too. So I just got my mom's birthday right here. And then I continued the tribal right here. And then I think I'm done. I think I'm done getting inked out. Dude, that looks amazing. Thank like, you, thank you. Whoever you got to do that was really, really good. Yeah, it it, it did take a lot. It, it took like, I, mm, this one took like four hours. This one took like an hour or like an hour, 30 minutes. This one, these ones took like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah, you got some balls doing that, that long of a, <laughs> that big and that long of a tattoo. Like I know, that. that's what everybody be saying. They'd be like, yo, you're young and you already have like all these tattoos. I'm like, Mm. I mean, shoot, you only live once, to be honest. In my opinion, it's like I'm just going to live life to the fullest and then just do it. Yeah. Are you going to get any more or a bunch more or what? Or um, Not really. I'm not, I don't really, I'm not really aiming to. But if I do, it's like I might get something behind my ear, something on my chest, but I really don't know. People just, usually, what was that? People usually, after they get one, they then they're, they're like, oh, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm going to speak up promise you you get your first tattoo you're not gonna want to stop like it's like okay the pain once you're getting it is like okay i don't want to do this again but you look at it right you look at it and it could be a big tattoo but you're gonna look at it like dang like this is a small tattoo you're just gonna want to get more like i don't know why but a lot of people find it like addicting i did find it addicting but like now that i got like a lot i'm like i don't know anymore yeah <laughs> you're gonna look like the rock eventually <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to get big though too. Like, see, like I didn't get this finished because I'm not big enough yet. I'm still a little, a little skinny, so I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna get it finished yet. Yeah, the good thing about going like your dad being cool with it is like some people get when they're younger they get these like stick and poke ones or whatever shady yeah. ones because like they don't they they're not going to one to get like a you know a professional <laughs> or whatever and it looks cruddy mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's cool that he took you. Yeah, I mean, shoot, I mean, if it's going to be on my body forever, I want to make sure it looks nice. <laughs> my friend got the, this one with, like, it was, like, card symbols or something, and it looked so <laughs> horrible, like, on his knuckles. I was like, oh, you did, my you God. did a stick and poke? You did a stick and poke? No, it well, yeah, I think so, basically. It, it was, like, his, it was, like, some friend he knew did it for him, like, in a basement or something. I'm like, yeah. Oh, uh, it was, like, first lab rat type. I know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, when did you get those? Anyway, which one? The these ones? Yeah, like uh, how far back? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so this was my very first tattoo. Actually, I got this at fifteen, and I think I, I got it, two, three days before my birthday, before like I turned sixteen. So I got that one, and then I got this back in like. I think the beginning of October, right? I think I got it at the beginning of October and this was like, it was something slight. Like, it might hold you, it did hurt. It did hurt me, but it was whatever. This was like, yeah, like a in October, in October. And this was actually like, these ones right here was a couple of days ago. I got it, um, I got it on the 12th of this month. That's cool. And you're gonna post a YouTube video about that, aren't you? Yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna drop it. Mm, I think I wanna drop it, today's what? Today's Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, I think I want to drop it um Thursday or Friday, actually. I've had a lot of people ask me requests, like, when are you dropping the video? So I, I think I, I want to take YouTube more seriously. Mm -hmm. So um, so let's see. Oh, um, oh, my friend. <laughs> I, I, was, I was just thinking of this as, as I was looking through. Uh, my friend, he got one in Miami, Florida, uh, mm -hmm. when we were in Florida. And it was like a long flower or something, like a rose. <laughs> and his mom was not named Sharon, like Rose of Sharon, stuff like that. Yeah. But um, he he was like, God, this hurts so fucking much. And the guy's like, Yeah. He's like, He's like, people told me it wouldn't hurt. And he's like, oh, yeah. he's like No. He's like, He's like, You didn't ask me. I would have told you. I was, he's like, I, He's like, That's just a big open wound. He's like, This is horror movie shit. <laughs> no, it, it, it does hurt. It really just depends on what you get. Like, I'm not going to hold you like that. It just depends on what you get. It hurts a lot. And it depends on the artist, if they have a heavy hand or a light hand. So um, so when did your popularity on Instagram and stuff start and TikTok and stuff start taking off? Uh, To be honest, 
I really looked at first, like, I'm going to be honest. I think everybody did this, but it's just in my opinion. I really looked at TikTok as, like, a joke, right? I was like, oh, TikTok, like, okay, yeah. Like, I don't know why you're doing that. Like, I really took basketball serious. Like, I went to Chino Hills High School, but I took basketball super serious. And then I would see people doing TikToks, and I'd be like, oh, like, I would never do that. But then one day I was in the car, right? Because my ex, my ex-girlfriend was like, yo, Jake. Like, I was always here trying to make a TikTok. And then she was like, download the app, download the app. It's funny, it's relatable. And I'm like, all right, all right, bet. Like, I'll download it. So I was in the car one day, and I was on my way to school in the morning. And I, I heard this sound, and it was, it was, and I woke up. Every time I woke up, I was just, like, on my mind. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to make a TikTok to it. My first ever video on TikTok blew up. It was, like, it was me saying, like, um, it was me cussing, right? It was me, like, lip syncing, cussing a word. And then I put in the caption something, like, my mom grounded me after this because I was cussing. And next thing you know, I think that thing got like 70,000 likes, it got some around there. And after that, I was like, oh, shoot. And then I saw my numbers on Instagram going up. And I was like, yo, like, this is dope. So then I just started posting more. Yeah. Why do you think that people liked it so much for? I don't remember, but I, I don't realize, I don't think I, I, in the caption, I'm thinking I put like, like for, because I got grounded for this. I don't even remember, but I remember I put, I got grounded. And then like people were commenting like, he's so fine. Like, are you still in trouble and stuff like that? And I was just like, oh shit. But like, I didn't really get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just joking because I, I looked at it as a joke, right? So I'm like, I'm not gonna take this serious. Yeah, so you probably get recognized everywhere. Does your dad get recognized too? Because he's in a lot of your videos. To be honest, um, we be going to the mall a lot. Like we be going to the mall and like people will look at us or like some people, like, I've, I've had people take pictures of me and my dad from a distance, but, like, never want to take pictures with me. But, like, um, yeah, it's, it does not happen as much as you would think it does, but it does happen a good amount of times to where it's, like, oh, okay, like, um, if I if I were to walk down, if I were to walk down towards the mall, at least, like, I mean, probably a little bit of people would know who I am, but that that's most of it. So your dad, <laughs> he's really funny in the videos because he looks like he's like a tough guy. No, like, hey, yep. Hey, I be, I'm not gonna hold you. I be risking my life making these TikToks. Like they, I really do. Like especially since I'm taking YouTube serious now. Like they're gonna be longer videos if me just messing with him. So yeah, this has he ever actually gotten mad in one of these? Oh, all of them, all of them. Yeah, like I, the ones where I pour water on him, he he always gets mad, and I always gotta clean it up. Uh, he be getting mad because I've been messing up his clothes sometimes too. I thought it was like a, a joke. I thought he was like in on it and like just no, like no, no, no. Like I really like like a lot of my videos are like real. Like they're not staged. Like like I'll admit it. I'll admit like I've only made a couple videos that were staged because I didn't get the reaction I like I thought I was gonna get. But most of my videos like that's his real reaction. Huh, that's funny. That makes them so much better because like I watch them and they're funny, but it's not and it's like. I'm like, you know, he's in on it though, so that that makes it like so much better. <laughs> yeah, no, I think because I think I'm gonna make a video for YouTube where it's like behind the scenes of making TikToks with my dad. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny though because he looks like tough, like a, a fighter or something, and then like you're doing like all these dances and stuff <laughs> around him and just messing with him, and he, he's like, <laughs> yeah, I, I really do. Be, I really do be risking my life. Like I be pushing the buttons. I be pushing his buttons. <laughs> but hey, I really do support like my dad really does support me and that's like my favorite thing about him because like whatever I did he always supported me basketball supported me school supported me even when, like when I was bad as a kid like I'm not gonna hold you like I was bad as a kid my dad was always there to like back me up like he's been there for me and like that's that's everything I love about my dad because he he's never left my side like a lot of people like a lot of parents like would just be like oh, okay whatever like he like you do give like their son amount of like Warning is like, okay, like, we give up on him. My dad never gave up on me. Like, as much times as, like, he should have or, like, people would sort of, like, just tell him stuff about me. Like, he never gave up on me, and I, like, really appreciate and love him for that. Like, that's that's my rock. That's why I got my first tattoo, uh, which meant, which was his birthday. Hey, my very first tattoo was his birthday, so that was why. That's cool. Um, what do you mean, like, you were bad? <laughs> Man, ah, uh, if... If somebody from my elementary school is watching this, they know I was probably in the office. My parents would get a call from the office a lot. Like, I don't even know how many times during the week. But, like, I changed. Obviously, I changed for the better. 
but I was always in the office. And like, I realized like I had to change because I didn't like doing that. So that was just, I was, I would like always talk back to the teachers and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's, it's cool that you do all those stuff, uh, all those videos with your dad and stuff, because like a lot of like teenagers and stuff, like they start pulling away from their parents and stuff when they're like teenage and it's, it must be cool for him to like, Oh, my kid thinks I'm cool. And like wants me in all his videos and stuff like that's just yeah. kind of well, like I a good example. Like, too. <laughs> no, nah, I, to be honest, my bad for cutting you off. But like, to oh, be honest, I look at it as like, I'm trying to make memories with my dad. Like I just want to make memories because like, you got to keep in mind, like, nobody's going to be on here forever. Like, nobody's going to live forever. So it's like, I want to make as many memories as I can. So, like, because these, these videos are going to be on the internet. Internet is like, you could find anything anytime. And, like, these videos are going to be on here forever. So I look at it like, okay, bet. Like, like I could show my children, like, how me and my dad's relationship was. My children's children could show them that and just so on and so forth. Like, I want to be able to, like, have memories made instead of just pictures like i want there to be actual videos you know what i'm talking about same thing with my little brother like i throw my little brother in the videos because like in my eyes people in people's eyes people would be like people would be like I always get comments oh you use your little brother for clout you use your little brother for clout but in my eyes like i really don't pay attention to that in my eyes i look at it as like okay my baby brother doesn't it's not gonna remember anything from his first couple months of being born first uh, like one year old two year old three year old type stuff right i look at it like like I'm growing up with him and he can see how he developed as a person and like growing up as a kid. Like, cause every time I make a video with him, he's getting bigger, right? And so obviously when he's older, he's gonna wanna be like, yo, like how was I as a baby? And I'll be like, yo, this was you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's that's really cool. That's actually pretty deep. Like I, no, I, I that's, that's to be honest, like I don't really tell a lot of people because obviously no matter what I say, people are gonna like use it against me and people are gonna like, claim that i'm using it for cloud but in reality it's just is that's just how i look at it yeah there's a lot of negative stuff just by virtue of being on the internet i imagine yeah i mean being on the internet being being public is like you have to have a healthy mindset like you have to make sure you're mentally stable before you can continue doing any of it so it's like you just have to be mentally strong What's the funnest thing about being kind of an influencer, like having a lot of people watching you and stuff? Man, there's a lot. Like, to be honest, the my favorite part about it is like being able to like know like you have people who support you and like people who look up to you. Like the people that look up to me, like they really they really mean a lot to me because like I never thought I'd be in the position to like be idolized as a person overall, like or idolized at all, right? And like I look at it now, and I'm like, like I really need to like set a set a set a like a example for everybody because I have I have a platform, right? I'm not the only one in the world with the platform, but I do have an amount of followers where I can and supporters where I can make a change in the world, try and change, make a change in the world, right? Because if I can try my best way to like lead them into the right direction, I'm gonna take that obviously. But I mean, you know, there's always gonna be people that are not gonna like like um, listen to what I say, right? And maybe like, maybe like my videos, me with my dad, right? You were saying, right? And maybe like me, my videos with my dad might hit hit somebody, anybody in the world hit somebody. And maybe that make my videos might make them closer with their parents. Seeing me close with my parents might make them want to be closer with their parents, right? Because you see, as you get older, like parents, children, they always diss it. But by the time they're gone, they're going to be like, oh, I wish I was closer with my mom. I wish I was closer with my dad, my brother, everything like that. Like I, I my videos, put to be honest, I make it seem like make value the time and the people you have while you can type you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. that's how i look at it yeah that's cool um and i used to do kind of like youth ministry type work and stuff and I got, i've i kind of moved on from that I did that for like 11 years though and like how was that, how was that? <laughs> uh good it, it was it was fun while i did it um but like that's one of the things that like why I like to have like you and Jabez and like other people, like younger people. Cause I, I think it's so cool that like, we didn't used to have like, young people didn't have the voice that you have now. Like you have access to this that like puts out whatever, you know, whatever message you want to put out in, into the world. And that, I just think that's really cool that like, um, where you used, like people your age used to be kind of voiceless and now you're able to express yourself in bigger ways like this. So. That's yeah, get, like I look at it cool too, cause like we could promote problems in the world and like just display it where like people, 
for kids to like open their actual eyes and probably listen like we it's just you get any chance you can yeah you you have a voice that other people like you know me saying something wouldn't mean as much you know uh, as somebody like you your age and stuff so that's that's pretty cool i to be honest i look at myself like a normal person i'm just it's just in my eyes i don't look at it as like i'm i have followers i don't look at it as i'm famous i don't look at it as none of that i just look at it as it like i'm more public than other people are that's how i look at it like i have like i publicize myself more than other people would yeah and they're able to relate to you because like you're their age you look like them you dress like them talk like them so yeah yeah it's cool um what's your favorite video that you've put out so far <sighs> my favorite video for sure gotta be one of the videos of my dad i i think it's the one that um i made this one video it has it's my most liked, but it's not like my favorite video because it's just a bunch of videos combined or collabed but like i think my favorite video is one of my most recent ones where i was like i was told my dad i was like come here come here come here and I told him to stand like that, like a scarecrow. And then I put a stick in between his arms and then I passed him and I ran upstairs and he tripped on the way. And I, I don't know why or how, but that video blew up. And that, that's probably one of my favorite videos. That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, when I when I asked you, I was like, hey, do you have anything you want to talk about? You're like, yeah, uh, anything. You're like relationships, whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'll throw in some of those because like, I know your oh, followers. <laughs> come on. Hey, I know a lot of people want to know what happened about me and me and the relationships, anything. But yeah, come on, let's go. Okay, so single or... Right baby? now? Sing yeah. Nah, I didn't even have a Valentine. I've only had a Valentine one year and that's my head. Yeah, you're pretty young. So like, you probably haven't dated that much yet. I've only been in one relationship. I don't really, I don't really um go out there and do, I don't really, I'm not really into like dating. Like, you know, but I mean, I'm not cool with talking. It's just, I take dating more seriously because especially since you're gonna have to meet my parents, especially since like, I have like, I'm, I have a platform. I don't want people thinking like, I like a lot of girls. Like I want to be like, I take like relationships serious. Yeah. You're so interesting. Cause you're, you're like all about family and you really take seriously like the platform. Like I, I haven't gotten that since so much from like the other two that I talked to, but like you seem to like really understand like the platform it, that you have. It's hard. Okay. The only thing that's hard about this is like trying to juggle everything. Okay. I'm still in school, right? It's it's hard trying to juggle school, spending time with your family and like business, right? Because obviously I go in there in LA and I have family and it's just hard like spending time because I can't be at two places at once and I wish I can, but it's like, is and especially with school it's hard it's hard juggling all of that and people don't really understand that because they only see what they want to see and only see what they want to see like they don't know what happens behind cameras but yeah it is hard like juggling all this stuff but in reality like that's life everything's gonna be hard nothing's gonna be easy so yeah and when <laughs> you're right people kind of project onto you stuff like they see your videos and they think this about you and so then they kind of get an yeah. idea about what they think you're like i guess <laughs> yeah they just jumped in but i mean i mean i let them jump to whatever they want to to be honest i mean because i look at it as like you can think about whatever you want about me because i know i know who i am i know what i stand for that's all that really matters like i don't like if there's a kid watching this if there's a kid watching this right now and you you base yourself off of what others think as you go older, I, like you're gonna realize, like you should have done what you wanted to do, what you believed in, everything. Because, no, like let's say, I yeah, I realized growing up, elementary school, I had a group of friends. When I went to junior high, completely different group of friends. When I went to high school, another different group of friends. What I'm trying to get at is, you're not the same people who are always gonna be around you, especially as you're getting older. Your group's gonna go smaller. So like at the end of the day, you got to worry about yourself and your family. It's not like you need to worry about your other friends and what they think about you. Yeah. You know, a lot of stuff that usually takes people a lot of time to figure out. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like thinking to myself, I don't really like, mm, like social media is cool. Yeah. And all, but I like staying to myself. I'm not the type of person to, like go outside. Like I like staying in my room and just thinking or like chilling. I'm not, I'm not really like that type of person that like, I don't even really like going to parties. Like I'll probably pop out to a couple, but I, I never really like parties. Like, I mean, I would go, but I, it wasn't really like my, it's my type of like style. So I, I like nowadays I just stay home. Like I wouldn't really go to parties. 
Yeah, Jameis said that if he could give himself advice when he was younger, he would say to post the stuff that you like posting. He's like, he's like, because I thought people wanted to see me shirtless and they wanted to see this and that. And he's like, he's like, he's like, I would do poetry, I would draw things, and like, he's like, no, I would think nobody wants to see that or they won't like it or whatever. And he's like, now I wish I would. He's like, I wish people would have seen me more like the real stuff. So that, and I, I guess since you kind of already, you kind of know that. Actually, I I support what he said. Like, I, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, but in the beginning of this, like in the kind of in the beginning of this, before I started putting my dad's in my videos, I kind of did look up to him. That's that's how I know him. I saw I saw him on my for you page one time because a lot of people would mention me in his videos, and I looked up to him for a little bit. I'd be like, oh, this dude's dope. Like like I wouldn't I would be I'd be like, dang, like I'd hope one day like I could collab with him and like stuff like that because he seems really cool. Like I admit like. There's there is a couple people in the social media world that I looked up to, like like Derek too. I looked up to him. Like I really do look up to like now, like now, like as of now, I'll probably still do look up to him. I have so much respect for Derek. I have so much respect for like a lot of people because what happens behind cameras isn't easy. Like the way that the like I look up to people who handle current situations the right way, right? And like how they handle themselves as a person and how they don't like like just 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 how they humble themselves and like how they handle themselves like that's that's what i mainly look up to because i don't want to be the one the type of person who just brags and all that stuff like i, I want to be the person that people are like oh like that dude's like actual too cool dude like you should be friends with him like i want to be i want to be cool everybody i don't like being problematic and all that stuff yeah um so yeah i'll get back to kind of our other train of <laughs> that was a cool segue we took though um, yeah. <laughs> would you ever uh they probably want to know this would you ever date one of your followers like if it started off that way um or would that be weird for you <laughs> i don't look at my like followers as like followers i look at them as like my supporters my family or like type stuff like that dating one of my followers mm, i really wouldn't mind it really just depends like i got a I'm not going to say I would because I don't go based, I don't talk to people based off of like in online, right? I go off of like, let's actually hang out. Like, let's actually go on a date. Like, let's actually do stuff that you wouldn't do nowadays that you would do back then before social media was a thing. Like, let's put our phones down. Like, let's actually like interact. Let me get to know you because I don't want, I don't want to get myself into something long-term and I don't even want to be in there. Like, I don't even want to be in it anymore. Like, you know what I'm talking about? That's a good answer. I'm trying to get my hat straight. Keep <laughs> yeah, you it's get so hard with this like StreamYard thing because yeah, like you yeah. reverse this thing, hey. where you can't tell what you're doing. I was but, like, "What is StreamYard?" Like, I had to download a, I had to download Google Chrome for this. So I was like, <laughs> "A part didn't work." So I was like, "I, right, I'll just download it." Uh, I would have, I would have tried to uh, use something else if I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's see here. Do you have any funny stories about your uh, supporters? Or uh, because, like, I'll tell you a few that Jabez told me. <laughs> he okay, told me that one of his, uh, they they were at like a live event or whatever, and she like put down a bag and she's like, "Look inside," and he <laughs> said, he pulls out and it's like panties. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, no, no, no. no. He's no, like, I don't know he's, what I was doing that position. <laughs> he said that he put it back and he's like, thank you. <laughs> but then he went and threw it away later. <laughs> Yo, I, to be honest, I do not know. If I was in that position, I'd just be like, I'd be like, yo, I would just be like a little awkward out. And, and he said that somebody gave him this, this older lady, she messaged him wanting to give him showers. She was like, <laughs> If you let me give you showers, I'll let you stay at my place rent free and da 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 da, like all this stuff. <laughs> Yo, that's no, nah, that's kind of something like I get. Like you have older people hating on you and everything because they don't really know your age or like they'll just do it. But like, I, to be honest, I've never really had a a really a uh, weird supporter. Not really. I've never really had one of those. I mean, I have a lot of haters, but like I don't really have weird supporters. Like. Like they'll DM me weird. Like I've probably had only a couple people DM me weird stuff, but I don't think they were supporters because they never followed me. And like I don't think like I just never thought like I just didn't think of it as like they they were my supporters. They're weird. I don't look at it. my supporters as they're weird. So <laughs> this thing is driving me crazy. I shouldn't have worn this. <laughs> <laughs> do rag. 
Yeah, I, no, look, my <laughs> hair's like all oh, awful. I'll, I'll probably just take it off because I can't. Yeah, okay, <laughs> That's yeah. That's annoying me. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see. Um, hobbies, you, you mentioned basketball. Um, do you still play a lot? or? Um, as of right now, I go to Cerritos High School. And um, season, obviously, because of COVID, we don't have season. We haven't had tryouts yet. So it's more like I'm just really waiting. I mean, I feel like once tryouts and season, if that's a thing, I'm gonna take basketball again. Like I'm gonna play basketball again because you only you only go to high school like once in your life, like four times, unless you fail and you have to completely retake it. But you really can't do the sports sports wise. So I mean, obviously, I'll still like that's just gonna be one like basketball. If season does happen, it's just gonna be one more thing I'm gonna have to juggle. And I mean, like. Why not? I mean, shoot, like I only live once. I'm gonna have to do it. Like I'm, just, it just teaches me time management. Yeah. Um. You mentioned video games too before on like a different video. You you do a lot of video games now still or? Not really anymore. I used to be a big fan, but it was like more like now nowadays I look at it as like it's kind of wasting my time. So like I'll never spend money on a game. Like all right, like all my friends know this. Probably my friend Jacob, RJ. Butter, JB, Caleb, they're probably watching this right now. Like, they know. Like, I have a PS4. I got a PS4. But on my PS4, like, I promise you, I have every game on there is free. I've never paid for a game because I look at it like, why invest your money in a game when there's going to be an exact new one coming out next year? Like, they do that all the time. So it's like, you're basically spending $50 a year when you could save that and invest in, in something else that's, that'll actually benefit you. I mean, unless you're unless you're a really good gamer, and like then I, I I then go ahead. That's that's all you. But like, if you just play video games, play video games. I don't do that. I just find it as like, okay, I'm spending money, spending fifty dollars a year on stuff that's just gonna like not be played, and it's just gonna be collecting dust the year after. A lot more than fifty, probably. <laughs> yeah, I just it's just when it came off my head. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so what do you invest in? Do you just, like, save money or, like, what What are you trying to do? Um, What I really do is I save my money because I want to be able to say, like, I want to be independent, right? I want to be able to be, be like, yeah, I moved out at this age. I want to be able to say I moved out at 18, 19. So, like, I want to be able to do that because not a lot of guys, not a lot of girls could say, hey, I moved out of my parents' house at 18 and I was financially stable. A lot of people would like have to use a loan and everything like that. I just want to be, I save my money. And right as I turn 18, I'm probably going to invest in stocks, invest whatever. But like, that's the best way to do it. Like, I want to be able to say, I moved at this age. I'm very independent. I want to be able to build up my credit, buy my own car probably in the future. Like build up my credit, all that. Dang. Um, I moved out when I was 17, but I wasn't financially stable. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how was it though? Like, how was it besides the financially unstable part? Like, how was being independent? Um, I've made it like I um, <laughs> I did, I've done a lot of different stuff. I I went and worked at a boarding school where it was like, uh, they paid for like your it was um free rent and board, so like you lived at the place and stuff. Okay, okay. And so like I might not have had a ton of money, but I didn't need anything either. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's and, like that's that, cool. that kind of started my career with like youth work and stuff. So that's cool. Though. At least it led to somewhere. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, like I said, more sh uh, shallow at first. Um, uh, dream car, if you could pick one. Ooh, <laughs> you gotta realize I'm still young. So I'm in love with all them fast cars. Like, if I could have one. Okay, realistically, realistic dream car, a Camaro, a Dodge Charger, maybe a Mustang. But later down the line... I want all of them. I want a Lamborghini, a Rolls Royce, a Bugatti, a Corvette. I want all of them. <laughs> I really want everything. Do you ever want to do one of those big events for like influencers and stuff like Creators Live or like I think there's something Boys of Summer or something like that or um, any of those types of things? I would definitely love to be a part of that. I never got the opportunity. I haven't been offered the opportunity. But I would definitely love to be a part of that. Like, that's something, like, you can't, not a lot of people could say they did as a child or, like, as a teenager growing up. They, not a lot of people could say that. And, like, and me being able to, like, do that, like, if I had the opportunity, I'd for sure take it because I want to be able to say, yeah, like, I was able to do this at this age. Like, I was able to travel, all that. Yeah. Um. So, 
Um, what are, um, not what are, <laughs> um, some people say that like being on social media too much can like lead to depression, things like that. Do you ever think about anything like that? Or do you like, um, that, you know, image issues? Cause like you're always being flooded with like Hate. what advertisers want you to see and like, and they, they want to like shape the way that you think about things and stuff by what they show you with the algorithms and all that. Like, to be honest, sorry for cutting you off my bad. You're, you're good. <laughs> oh, I'm finished. <laughs> oh, um, to be honest with like that mental health stuff, I'm not going to hold you. A lot of people, a lot of people in this industry do get unmotivated. Like it's just posting consistently is unmotivated and you have to deal with hate. You have to deal with all that stuff. Like, and you like, you always get the, the fact, like people will think of like, oh, I didn't get a as many likes on this post. I'm going to delete it. And it's just all about stuff like that. It's all the little stuff that like plays, plays a part. But like when the part doesn't go right, a lot of people get unmotivated and like they just get mentally unstable. Like, but like what it really is, is you can't care about like the, um, the interactions, the people like to your posts and everything like that. Like I just look at it as like, okay, I'm gonna post whatever. Because if it doesn't get as many likes, it doesn't get as many likes. Like I just look at it as like, I, if I want to post what I want, I'm going to post what I want. If it makes me mentally stable, like I don't want to do anything where I'm like in the future, I'm like, man, like this post didn't get as many likes. Like I don't even want to do social media anymore. Like I, I look at it like, okay, I'm going to post. If people don't like it, they don't like it. I, I just get, I just delete it later. Like whatever. Like I just, it's just, it's just, if I like, if I wanted to post it, I'll post it. Yeah. Um, so had, had did COVID kind of impact your life at all? Um, well, I think it's impacted everybody, but like, Major. Major. I guess how did it impact your life this uh, last year? Definitely benefited me though. Definitely benefited. It did. It does have its downs, like me not being able to see my friends as much, but it definitely benefited me. Like this COVID stuff, like actually like taught me what I want to do in the future. It like made me like more, more like more hardworking and like more, more like independent and responsible, right? Because as a child, you don't really think about it. You just think about going to school, hanging out with your friends at lunch, doing homework and the repeat. But like ever since this pandemic, like I, it gave me so much time to realize like what I want to do as a person and like what, what I can do, like what I can do, what I can do and what I want to do. <laughs> it just really like, it really just made me grow as a person. Cool. Uh, what are you looking forward to most this year? This year, um, I'm looking forward to, I'm really just looking forward to being successful. Like, obviously there's steps it takes, but like, I want to be able to like, see my friends and everything. Like, like, okay, I made a couple videos. I make a couple videos with like, a couple big influencers and people look at it like, oh, you got to hang out with that person. Oh, you got to hang out with that person. It's in my eyes, it's like, oh, they're just a normal kid because like, you get to meet them and you realize like, they're, they're normal. They're like you too. Like. They're really, it's just, it's just people, they're just more public, like, as, as I said. Yeah. Um, you mentioned travel earlier. Uh, where are some, have you uh, got to travel at all? Like, or not? Mm -hmm. for, for social media, no, but I've traveled oh. with my family, yeah. I've traveled to, to New York. Definitely love New York. I stayed in Brooklyn and went to Manhattan and all that. I love New York. The people there are really cool. Really, really, really cool. Like the way it's just really dope out there. But I think I like where I visited that I love the most, is Canada. Canada, those people out there. I shout out to all my Canadians. They, they're really cool. Like they're, they're humble. Like they don't, they're not, they're super nice out there. They're just really super giving. Like they're really like, they're just super dope. Like they're dope as people to me. Yeah. Um yeah, they have their reputation. <laughs> yeah. I've been outside of the country once to Haiti. That was like a mission trip type thing. So that was Where's that? Um, Haiti. It's like a third world country. It's real far off. <laughs> oh, I'm not good with geography. That's why I asked. That's why I asked. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Though? How was I started it? to sweat with that question. I'm like, uh. <laughs> How was it though? It was good. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of crazy like they don't have like red lights and stuff and so like you you just drive and like people fly and like they don't care about the police and stuff and like nobody puts on their brake or anything they just like go around you and stuff like uh, uh i'll get in so many crashes if i went out there 
and they have to have like we had like a security guard on our bus or whatever with a gun and stuff like because it's intense there like they have like riots and political riots and stuff oh yeah because the rules out there are different huh like the laws yeah Everybody. yeah <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy but um yeah so let's see here <laughs> i'll edit out that pause <laughs> <laughs> you're all good. You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, do you think that people put too much stock into like looks and stuff? Because like Jabez, he got tired of he he like wanted his hair straight, but like he he's like he's like no, everybody keeps commenting like make your hair curly, da da da, like that. He's like and they he's like they annoy the heck out of him with that and stuff and like and. It, he, he he seemed to think that, like, people kind of liked him a lot for his looks, and he wanted them to like him for other stuff. Yeah. Um. To be honest, there are a lot of people in the industry that are really known for their looks, and obviously, like, I can't speak for them, but if I if I was in their position, I would want to be looked at as more than my looks because looks only last for so long. Yeah. You got to look at it, like, they only last for so long, and you want to be able to be like, okay, I could do this other than looking cute, and or I could do this while looking cute. Like, you know, I just want to be able to do multiple things. Come on now. Do bubble gum and walk at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I lost track earlier. Um, what are uh, what are some bucket place items that aren't bucket place items, bucket place uh, places that you'd like to go to? Like on my bucket list? Yeah. Man, I've always wanted to go to Bora Bora. I want to go to states wise. Um, actually, I don't really know. I've been to all the states. I really wanted to go. Um, I want to go to Italy. I want to go to France. I want to go to all there. I always want to go to all those places. All the places you see in the movies, I want to go there. I want to really go there. I'd be like, yeah, I've seen this in the movie. I decided to go there. <laughs> yeah, you named the two. Those are the two that I kind of think of too. Like, and also um, Australia, I think of there too. I think Aust mm, don't get me started on my Australians now. I have a bunch of family out there in Australia. Australia, shout out to them. I don't know why, but like growing up, I always loved their accents. Like if I see a girl with an Australian accent, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like it's just something about Australians. Like I love their accent. I really do. Uh oh, every girl watching now, they're going to be faking all the <laughs> They're going to go to Australia, live there for a couple of years, get the accent, and come talk to them and be like, yo. <laughs> um so i i probably already know but um who are the most important people in your life my family obviously um that's why i was like i probably already know this but <laughs> my family and then like like god obviously because like i i do be praying i know there's a lot of if, you, if whoever's watching this isn't religious this is just my, what i believe like i believe like god like helped me like is literally guiding me in the right path so like from time to time, I'm not going to say every day and sit here and lie to you, but like whenever I do remember or whenever I can, I will pray and just thank, thank God. Like, cause really like not a lot of people will pray and not a lot of people look at it as in like God's work. In my opinion, I look at it in God's work because there's stuff, there's stuff I can and can't explain. And there's stuff like, I, there's so many stories that I have, but I can't like share some of them or like, it's just too long type, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, that's funny that you said that because my next question I was gonna ask like if you're a religious or like spiritual person. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, to be honest, like I believe in autumn ghosts. Like I've had so many ghost experiences. My family knows about ghosts. My grandma, all of them, like all that stuff. It's just like I I believe in it. I'm not gonna hold you. I've had a couple of ghost experiences. I mean, I played the Ouija board one time, and I'm I'm not gonna play that again. I'm not gonna play that again. <laughs> Man. I'm I'm in love with scary stuff. I'm really in love with scary stuff. I'm more into it. Like I'm scared. I'm okay. The way I'm gonna put this, like I love scary stuff, but after I'm done doing it or watching it, I'm scared shitless. Like I don't. I'm just too scared. Like I scare myself. <laughs> but it's like what interests me. So it's like I don't know. I, <laughs> if, if it interests me, I'm gonna scare myself, and it's worth it. That's funny. <laughs> Is horror movies like your favorite kind of movies? Then I guess. Oh, for yeah. sure. Sure, I love all the paranormal activities, The Conjuring, all. There's, it's just I love all those movies. Annabelle, all of them. <laughs> um, what are some? What's something that your followers would be surprised to know about you? Hmm. 
That's a day. Hey, that's a that's a good question. To be honest, I don't really know that that I'm interested in a lot of stuff like that. A lot of people wouldn't be interested. Like I'm interested in um, what basically the spirits spiritual stuff. Like I'm really interested in that. Like all that stuff interests interest me. Like afterlife, all that stuff. Like conspiracy theories, the government, aliens. That's that's mainly what interests me. Like as a person, like I could go on. I can listen to conversations. I can watch videos and all that stuff because it's really what is really like it's reality. Like if you think about it, like like if we didn't have phones and all that stuff, like what would we be focused on? Type stuff like the government. What what do they do behind closed doors and all that stuff? That's just what interests me. Yeah, you should watch this guy, uh, Matt Frazier. I think is his name. Mm -hmm. He's a psychic. And oh, okay, okay, okay. Usually I don't believe in psychics and stuff, but he yeah. makes it hard to not believe. Like, I, I'll probably send you a video after we're done with this. Okay, so, hey, DM, DM me. Sounds good. Sounds good. But, like, he's so crazy. Like, because he can just walk up to people and he's like, he's like, your uncle from da-da-da is talking to me right now. And he's telling me that blah, 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 blah. And he's like, and and Carly wants to say hello, too. She, uh, she's telling uh, she's telling me da-da-da-da-da. Like, and he, he can just, like, shoot off like at people that he's met that's on the street. Uh, He's like one of those people who who like have the third eye type stuff. Like yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Like who who could like talk to the dead? Bro, tell me why, yo. I'm tripping out right now because literally last night I was on the phone with the homegirl Jalissa. Bro, we were literally talking about this stuff. Like that's why I'm tripping out because like yo, did I manifest talking about this or like what's up? That's funny. Cause he he will literally have people in tears. Like he will walk. He'll just see him on the street or whatever, and, and the, they'll be filming. He'll come up and talk. And by the end of it, they're like, uh, <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, like it's something like you wouldn't believe somebody that you randomly met to know. Yeah, because it's not like he looked him up on Facebook and he like got yeah. information. He, he's never seen him before. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know if you have any thoughts on this, or feel free to say no comment. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like some controversy stuff lately with um, a management team or Sachi. <laughs> so they they kind of my boy Trenton. I I keep up with him. We've been talking, and he's probably gonna do a podcast with me about it soon. But um, I, I I've seen Trenton. I really talk to him, but he really does seem like a good person. Like he really looks like he has good morals and like he aims for the good stuff. So it's like. It's like I don't really have a say on the on the management stuff. I, hey, I, I'm I'm a part of what do you call it? Uh, I discover stars. I don't know if you've heard of them, I but have. Uh, that's that's like that's who I I've been with. That's who I've been working with, and like how I've been at the house with. And he's that map that manager Rico. Shout out to him. He's he's a really he's really good person. Like he's a really good person. That's what I kept hearing in comparison to the other guy that <laughs> Ty or whatever. I've like, never I kept... met Ty. I've never met Ty. Um, the whole the whole situation between Arsachi, I really don't have a say. I was never a part of Arsachi. I don't know anything about that. I I can't have a say in that. Like I don't want to put words out there that I don't know anything about because then I don't want to seem like like I'm just making up rumors. Yeah, that's a mature thing to do. So yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm actually really impressed with like how mature and and stuff you are with with a lot. Of stuff, so. <laughs> nah, it's just it's just like I look at it like if if it doesn't involve you, I don't think you should be speaking on it. Just let the people who are involved speak on it because that's between them and God. That's between them and God. It's not between me and you. I don't want to be in between that. I don't want to be looked at. And and they really can like getting into situations like that, speaking on something that you're not involved in can can benefit can benefit you or really can bring you down like it really can bring you down yeah <laughs> um i didn't know that you were without discover uh stars how did they find you like they just reached um, you I, i'm like i literally i literally been um what do you call it i just started working with them recently so that is that's been pretty cool yeah they just like messaged you on instagram to and like hey do you uh, like join or actually like it wasn't even like that like I met them in person. I met Rico in person, type, oh. and we didn't even meet like planned. It was just, it was just happened. And he's just like, "Hey, I, I met him through Derek. I met him through Derek." Oh, okay, yeah. So it was like that. Um, let's see. So, yeah, you have to be careful with the management team things, though, because that can obviously get you in some trouble. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, um. I'll just run through some of uh, a list like of your favorite things. Favorite clothing brands. 
Ooh. Mm. I really, I'm an athlete at the end of the day. Like, I know where, I, where my roots are. I love Nike. I love Nike. I'm just big fan of Nike. That's really uh, what I like wearing. And you like Jordans too, right? For shoes? Oh, for sure. For shoes. For kicks, Jordans. Shop, like, I like Jordans. I like Nikes. Not a fan of Adidas, but the Yeezy Slides. Big fan of those. Big fan of those. Yeah. Um, favorite artist? Singer? Ooh. Mmm. Shout out to uh, MCM Raymond. He's one of my cool cool people. I, I really mess with his music. Um, Bryson Tiller. Been big fan of Bryson Tiller since seventh eighth grade. A lot of people are going to say I'm a simp. But I've been at, like, hey, Bryson Tiller, big, I'm a big fan of him. Like, ever since Let Me Explain came out and all that stuff. Like, I've lived, ever since SoundCloud. SoundCloud, ever since music on SoundCloud. Loved all his music. Big fan of him. Um, favorite color? Red. I'm, I'm a I big, knew it. Yeah, I'm, big, I'm a big red fan. I knew it because you wear a lot of red. So, yeah. Like, it's probably red. <laughs> uh, favorite food? Man, you know, I love fast food. Fast food so good to me. Gotta between gotta be between Chick-fil-A, Canes, and In N Out. Love I I'm I'm telling you, fast food, man. Send me to a fast food place and it's all it's wraps. I spend thirty dollars on just food. Like I'm I love eating fast food. I love Chick fil A. Um, like, in out is good, but like, there's none around here. I, I eat it whenever I go to Vegas. <laughs> you come down to Cali, they there's a lot of In and Outs every corner. <laughs> uh, favorite movie? Paranormal Activity, for sure. Got to be Paranormal Activity. TV show? Ooh, not a big fan of TV. Not really a big fan of TV. Uh, not even like on Netflix. Nah. Uh, I mean, I mean, growing up, SpongeBob, but like that's a lot of people's. But it's just now I'm not really a big fan of TV. Yeah, I don't either. I it's, I'll, I'll sometimes pick one to binge or whatever, but I don't like I don't like to like wait on a schedule or something like eight o'clock every night. I'm gonna no. Nah. <laughs> or <laughs> no. actually, actually, I I like watching movies. Like me and me and the homegirl Alejandra, like we we do a Zoom call. Like me Alejandra, and then we did a Zoom call. And, like we'll watch movies, we'll stream movies, or like it will be me Alejandra, Nikki, and her homie Albert. We did that a couple times. Like we'll watch movies through Zoom, through Zoom, and that's what we'll do. Cool. Um, favorite songs right now? Man. I say right now because nobody has like a favorite ever. Like I time. really don't got a favorite song. Like it's just if you can play Bryson Tiller, I'm gonna know all the licks. I'm gonna know most of the lyrics. I'm not gonna say all because hey, you might catch me slipping, but I'll say most of the lyrics. You play most of the lyrics, I got it. Uh, do you have a favorite comedian? Kevin Hart. For sure, the funniest, for sure the funniest man I've ever seen. He's, I don't know, he's just so funny to me. As a, <laughs> he's such a, he's a great actor. Uh, favorite dance, because you do a lot, of, you do a lot of different stuff like that on Instagram and stuff. Yes, I only really like dancing. Like I just dance for the fun of it. I like just groove. That's that's what I like doing. I just groove. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, any projects you want to plug that you have coming up? I know you have the YouTube video this week. Is that about it for, for right that, now? That's really it. I mean, I just got the YouTube stuff coming out soon. I don't really think I got anything else. I really don't think so. Okay. Um. So I got your Instagram and TikTok. It's at Jaden Robago. Yep. Go follow that. Go like all of that. Pretty easy to remember. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, got your Snapchat, Jaden.hoop2. You said you don't really respond a lot to things on there just because you get a lot so much. Is uh not really, not really. But if I if I do get the chance, I for sure will. I for sure will. <laughs> for business inquiries, if you want to hit Jaden up, <laughs> yeah, JadenRabago1 at gmail.com. dot mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So, uh, thanks for coming on. Like, if I can ever do anything for you to support you, promote you, you know, just let me know. Thank you for having me. I low key been wanting to answer a lot of these questions that I've low key. Been wanting to do this, uh, so I really thank you for having me. Is this the first podcast you've ever done? Or have yeah, you actually, ever since you hit me up, I've had a couple other people hit me up, but I never really, like, got to them back because, like, I was more really focused on you because you're the first person to hit me up. So it was, like, first come, first serve. So, like. <laughs> well, cool. That, that That's nice. Uh, thanks for that.